The Henson 9000 software includes a database viewer. You can access it from this icon on the main menu toolbar. The default view is the one set in options, in this case tree view, where the patients are grouped by surname in alphabetical order. You can switch to list view by pressing this tab. Here you can see all of the results listed in alphabetical order. Click the tab to go back to tree view. To see the patients double click on a surname or click the plus next to it to expand the list. You can see that all of the patients with the same surname are listed with record number and date of birth. To see a particular patient's tests, click the plus or double click the patient's name. A list of all tests stored will be displayed, with the first test on the list displayed on the right hand side. Any test result can be viewed by clicking on the entry in the list. If a Zata test is selected, the results of the two eyes are displayed on separate tabs. This button allows you to open a different database of records. The currently displayed record can be printed by clicking the printer icon. It will be opened in your default PDF viewer and from here you can save, print or email the record. The Edit button allows corrections to be made to patient data. For example, there is an entry here with an incorrect record number. Clicking Edit displays the items that can be edited. We can correct the record number and click Save. We can now see that the edited record is grouped with the rest. The delete button allows tests to be removed from the database permanently. To search the database, switch to list view and click into the search box you want to use. If set in options, a keyboard may appear. You can use it to type or hide it by clicking the keyboard button. As you can see, the surname that matches the search letters CH has been selected. You can also search using the patient's record number. The list is reordered by record number and the nearest match will be highlighted. It is possible to regenerate the images if, for example, one was deleted by a practice management system. Select whether to generate just one image or all missing ones. The image is instantly regenerated. It is possible to perform a progression analysis on Zata test results. To demonstrate, we will load the demo database included in the software. Select a patient with several Zata test results and press the Progression button. The Progression Analysis screen shows a plot of mean defect and pattern standard deviation against patient age. It also shows a grayscale image for the test alongside the patient's age at the time of the test. It is also possible to scroll through the results. By clicking the green arrows, you can see the selection lines moving across the display. You can exclude certain results by clicking on the red or blue dots. The slope of the graph and the rate of change data will alter as you do. The progression analysis also includes the widely used GSS2 plot. There is a chart for each eye and they plot the progression from first record, blue dot, to last record, red dot. Clicking exit will generate an image based on the current screen. 
If we repeat for the line plot screen, we get an image with a line plot. The progression image can be printed by pressing the print icon. And, as before, it is opened in the default PDF viewer, ready for saving, printing or emailing. It is possible to import data from a spreadsheet. For example, if you have exported HFA 7 series records using our export program. Contact us via our website for more details. As with all other programs, the context-sensitive help can be accessed here. The Henson 9000 software also contains a Disk Utilities program that can be accessed from this toolbar icon. It displays a simplified database view. As with the main database, this button allows you to open an existing database. And this button allows you to create a new database. This button allows you to copy the entire database to a new location, backup. Use this button to merge another Henson 8 or 9000 database into the current database. This button allows you to copy individual records to or from another database. And this button enables the import of legacy 5000 or 6000 databases into the current database. Henson 8000 databases can be merged in using the Merge button. As with all other programs, context-sensitive help can be accessed here. To exit back to the main menu, click here. 